it really underscores just how partisan uh, Mr. Uh, Nunes has been. He has abused the office of the chairmanship of HIPSI. And I don't say that lightly. I think over the past year, he has demonstrated he's engaged in these tactics purely to defend and try to make excuses. Because he brought up any Trump. legitimate issue. He just put out publicly one side and a very selective, cherry-picked uh, memo. That was former CIA director John Brennan on Meet the Press talking about what he sees as the partisan motivations of Devin Nunes. Joining me now to talk about all of this, Republican Congressman Chris Collins of New York, who was the first member of Congress to endorse then-candidate Trump for president. Congressman, thanks very much for being here. I really appreciate it. Oh, Casey, it's always good to be with you. First and foremost, uh, the, the House Intelligence Committee is set to consider a Democratic memo on this topic. Do you believe that the Democratic memo in the interest of transparency should be released? Oh, absolutely. And we're going to follow the same process for releasing their memo that we used to release uh, Devin Nunes' memo. In other words, all of us next week will have an opportunity to review the memo uh, in the skiff uh, in uh, the, the basement of the Capitol, at which point in time uh, we would then vote to move that uh, to be released. And I suspect the president, again, would have five days to concur or not. I suspect he will. Uh, we, we're all about transparency, and we're following the same procedure on releasing uh, the Democrat memo that we did our own memo. Are you convinced that the president is going to be willing to declassify this memo the same way he declassified the Republican memo? And would you urge him to do that? I would certainly urge him to do that. I can't speak for the president, but I believe all of us uh, do believe in transparency. And I should point out, oversight of the administration is something, a uh, main job in a democracy that we take. And it's oversight of the DOJ, oversight of the FBI, the CIA, but also all the other departments, from HHS to Department of Commerce, the FDA, and so forth. And that this is uh, what makes America special, is that we do have Congress T having oversight of all these agencies, asking the tough questions, demanding answers, and that's in this case uh, what happened in, in discovering what's obviously a political bias uh, and abuse by the DOJ and the FBI, and it's something we should take very seriously. Congressman, do you believe that the FBI was trying to help Hillary Clinton when they issued this FISA warrant? Well, I can't uh, speak to they what they were it? trying to do. But the, but the facts are that they used a salacious and unverified opposition research report. And I think the case that's important here, uh, Casey, is they did not disclose to the judge that that was the basis of some well, of this information Democrats to get say that, a Democrats FISA say warrant. that that's not the case. I mean, there's, there is contradictory reporting about whether that fundamental claim in this, in this Nunes memo is actually true. But again, my question is, do you believe that the FBI is biased in favor of Hillary Clinton or was biased in favor of Hillary Clinton when they asked for this warrant? I won't uh, say the entire FBI, but I will say certain officials at the FBI. Uh, I don't think it's any surprise that McCabe resigned abruptly a week ago. Uh, he was front and center in this. McCabe himself is the one that stated that they would not have been able to get the warrant without using the, the uh, uh, salacious and unverified opposition research report. And then, lo and behold, uh, he sees the memo and he resigns abruptly. So I do believe, Casey, there was bias at the highest levels of the FBI. Do you agree with the president that this memo vindicates him from any probe into potential collusion with Russia or obstruction of justice? No, I, I really think this memo speaks to our oversight of the Department of Justice and the FBI, what we believe was political bias. And when it comes to spying on Americans, there's got to be a line that we, we draw. Uh, and I would agree with Trey Gowdy, this really doesn't have anything directly to do with the Mueller investigation of Russia. We're going to let that play its own uh, course over the next month or so. I think it is winding down. This was oversight, which is the Intelligence Committee's job, oversight of the FBI and the DOJ. That's what this memo is about. And the Democrats are certainly uh, going to have their opportunity in releasing their memo to disagree and will let Americans make their own minds up. Some of your Republican colleagues have drawn this connection. You would say that you're in the camp with Trey Gowdy and Speaker Ryan and saying you don't believe that this memo has any bearing whatsoever on Mueller's investigation? 
Uh, that's correct. I think they are two standalone issues. But when you do see apparent bias, direct bias in the DOJ and the FBI, that is of concern to all of us, especially with something as important as spying on Americans, Big Brother uh, eavesdropping on your phone conversation. So I don't want to mix the two issues and overstate, in this case, the repercussions of the memo and take it down another path. I think we should be clear this is a standalone issue. Uh, speaking to our oversight of the DOJ and the FBI. Congressman, should Americans trust the Federal Bureau of Investigation? Uh, we want to trust. Uh, this memo do you is trust quite them? disturbing. Overall, I do, but uh, I have to say it's very disturbing to see folks like McCabe, who did resign abruptly, uh, abusing what I believe, abusing his authority. And I think uh, we're going to have to have the FBI take a, a look at themselves and just be a little more certain in crossing the T's and dotting the I's, especially in a FISA court, that the information given to the judge has been verified and any and all aspects of where it came from would be disclosed to the judge. So the judge who's making this decision to spy on an American is doing so with all of the information fully disclosed. And I do think that will be a positive outcome outcome of this memo being released in the future. And you don't see any danger? There's one uh, person who has stepped down, written, in, written up an opinion column saying that he has stepped down from the FBI because it's essentially being attacked and that's bad for the country. Do you see any danger along those lines? No, this isn't an attack. It is oversight. And clearly, someone who uh, has been uh, you know, found out to be having this kind of bias is going to say what they can to defend themselves. But this is direct oversight by Congress. It is our job. It what makes America great. And uh, again, whether it's the DOJ and the FBI or, you know, the Medicare and Medicaid folks, we do keep an eye. We ask very tough questions. We try to get to the bottom of things, make sure things are being done properly, taxpayer dollars spent correctly. And in this case, spying on American citizens uh, has to be uh, something we take extraordinarily seriously. Congressman Chris Collins, thanks very much for your time tonight. Really appreciate it. Good to be with you, Casey. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.